It seems like North America is getting battered by natural disasters. Earthquakes in Mexico, huge fires in the West, and huge hurricanes destroying the Caribbean, Texas, and the southeastern United States. What the heck is going on? Today we're going to focus on the hurricanes, especially the ones in the Atlantic. Why do they form? How do they form? And why do they seem to be so gosh darn horrible this year? The easiest way to understand how a hurricane forms is through a timeline. So we'll get to that in just a little bit. Hundreds of storms have the capability to form hurricanes, but only a few do each year. So what happens to these storms to allow hurricanes to form? Hurricanes are a bit like an engine, and the energy that drives this engine is the hot ocean water. So if you have hot ocean temperatures, you're likely to have pretty strong storms. Also, Earth has a lot of global currents, and one of them pushes air from Africa almost straight west through the Atlantic. So now that we got that understood, let's start our timeline. In the beginning, you'll have a tropical disturbance, which is just a cluster of thunderstorms near the coast of Africa. The ocean's temperature will be the driving force of our hurricane engine. As hot, moist air evaporates off the ocean, it drives currents of air straight up into the atmosphere. This movement of air upwards causes a low pressure system near the ocean's surface. And as you know, air moves from high pressure to low pressure. So all this air needs to fill the void and air rushes in from all different directions. Now the area we're talking about isn't just a few feet though, it's miles, even tens of miles wide. So the amount of air rushing in is quite dramatic. These are the wind speeds everyone talks about when deciding how strong a hurricane is. It's just air moving around from higher pressure to lower pressure in these giant windstorms. As the storm gains energy from hot air rising and other air swooping in, it evolves from a depression, 25 to 38 miles per hour, into a tropical storm, 39 to 73, and eventually into a big, bad hurricane, 74 miles per hour plus. But that's not all. They can grow even stronger. So here are the five categories of hurricanes. Now, all these terms may seem like they're made up and not really matter at all, but the storms look and act a certain way as they get larger. It's fairly important for meteorologists and us to understand so they can decipher what's going on, predict how the storm will react, and relay the information to the general public. So why are they so bad this year? Well, as stated earlier, the driving force of hurricanes is heat. So if you've got warm temperatures, you're probably going to get strong storms. Unluckily for us, the oceans were very warm this year, and as a general trend, are getting warmer. On top of that, there isn't much wind shear this year. Uh, wind shear is micro-environments of air movement, so if you have wind pushing around in a bunch of different directions and speeds, it can weaken or even break up the storms. So when you put high temperatures and low wind shear together, you get some pretty darn nasty hurricanes. So hopefully you guys understand how and why hurricanes form, and of course why they're so gosh darn bad this year. But I want to leave you guys with something extra, so I'm going to read off a couple quick hurricane facts for you. So why do hurricanes revolve counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere? It all comes down to the Coriolis effect. Air moves faster near the equator, and as you get further away from the equator, it starts to slow down just a little bit. So the difference in airspeed between just the bottom and the top of the storm is the real reason that it spins in that direction. In 2017, so far there have been two Category 5 hurricanes, and only six other times in recorded history has this happened. And only once was there three Category 5 storms in a year, and that occurred in 2005. Now most people will say that global warming causes all of these hurricanes, but that's not necessarily the case. There is no concrete data that says global warming causes more hurricanes, nor stronger hurricanes. Yet. But using some logic and knowing that hurricanes driving force is ocean temperatures, we can guess that global warming will cause an overall trend of more and higher strength hurricanes in the future. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you press that like button for me, subscribe if you haven't, and have a super duper delicious day.